London right now, leaving London, going to Dubai. Um, land in Dubai about 6 a.m. and leave the same night. Just stopping over there to have dinner with a friend of mine, um, Ali. He's one of my best friends and he's a hard guy to catch. And just managed to catch him. So we're gonna stay in Dubai for a day to see him for dinner. We'll stay for the day, not even a day, stay for the day. Um, have dinner with him, uh, then going over to Pakistan. So we're on the flight now, leg one, just like watching a movie, chilling out. I think we land in Dubai like 6 a.m. As soon as we land, gonna head to the hotel, get a couple of hours sleep. Um, probably then get out and about by 10, 11 o'clock. I didn't think it was gonna be that busy because I was just going to have dinner with my friend, but it seems that I'm gonna be checking out a couple of properties, potentially something that I'm looking to buy myself. And then late night, fly out to Karachi. So let the madness begin. Newspaper ever made over here with the Khalid's Times. Just a general catch up to see what he's up to, see what's going on, mm -hmm. see what business is happening in Dubai, see what everyone's up to, see what new interesting things are happening. Just uh, met my friend Muhammad Galadari. Uh, Muhammad's an old friend of mine, good friend of mine. And uh, just a casual chit chat, catch up, see what's happening, see what's happening in life, what's happening in business. Uh, Muhammad owns the Khalij Times, which is the first newspaper uh, to come out in the UAE. He also owns Mazda, um, cars over here for the UAE, and Baskin Robbins, and various other brands. And he's very active, he's a young entrepreneur, he's, he's looking at bringing various other brands, similar franchises, back to the UAE as well. And he's also got a keen interest in real estate in Dubai and in London as well. So always a good conversation. And you know, he's married as well, like me, he recently married. Our kids are similar age as well, so you know, just nice to catch up and, and, and see what's happening. So literally we're so behind downtown. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. Fantastic, sorry. Fantastic view towards everyone. Yeah, and nice. this is like the most luxurious place close to the old center of Dubai. Yeah. Let me just have a look on the map where we are yes. so that we can understand. Dubai Square, it's a leisure destination, outdoor and indoor mix. It's going to be the largest leisure and retail destination in the world. Wow. It's roughly three times the size of the Dubai map. The height of this tower is a secret. Really? We're not revealing it, but it's for sure that it's going to be the tallest tower in the world. Yeah. So, and it's exactly on the water. As you know, in any country, something which is close to the water is always high in liquidity. Yeah. And it's a front line. Development charges. Development charges. Client services. 
Ali Salimi. Credit control. So what you been working with Habib? You're in CPG. CPG is very slow, huh? Yeah, improve it. Okay, great. So I just um, wanted to do a session. First of all, Habib, how are you finding it in Dubai? It's good. Huh? It's good. Good? Yeah. yeah. Did you bring the family or you came alone? I came, I came alone. Missing is, he, is he partying too much here? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to talk to all you guys about um, CPIC. Who are CPIC? What do we stand for? What is the company's vision? What are our values? Because a lot of you are in client facing roles, so it's very important that you understand these things. So in 2015, CPEC was announced, the China Pakistan Economic Corridor. Right? And Gawadar was announced, this is the gateway city to the China Pakistan Economic Corridor. This will be a free zone, like Dubai is, a free zone city, and there will be a port, etc. etc. And China bought the port for Pakistan for a period of 42 years. They are not working on this side. Honestly, just nobody is building anything in the private sector, apart from the government and the Chinese, apart from them, we're the only people building. Right now, we have a team, in-house team of 50 people who are based in Karachi, who are site engineers and all the site management people. And then we've got local staff right now, local labor right now, of 200 people. Right? So we've created local employment opportunity in Gawadar for local Gawadar people who would not have jobs otherwise. This is not Dubai where somebody has a job and he moves a job. No, these guys didn't have jobs. We created the jobs for them. Right? When I say we, I mean everybody here. I mean the entire organization. Right? We created jobs for those 200 people over there. Right? We created those opportunities for them. Without us, that didn't exist. Now when China Park Golf Estate becomes fully live, we started the groundworks over there, we'll be employing more than 500 people locally in Gawadar that did not exist before. Okay. Keep it up for all the information providing. Thank you. Thank you. Irene, Darlene, Habib, Ali. So it's now 8 o'clock, we're finally done. We're going for dinner now uh, with my friend Ali. That was one of the main reasons I came here, to catch up with him for dinner. And after that, got a flight at 2 a.m. So I'm gonna quickly go to the hotel now, change up, head out for dinner. After dinner, we've got one more meeting in between our flight and that will be about 10.30. So 10.30, you have that final meeting, hopefully finish that by 12, head straight to the airport, and then bang, off to the next destination. Karachi it is. a typical day in the life and now we've been here for 22 hours in Dubai it feels like we've been here longer than that doesn't Definitely, it yeah. doesn't feel like we've been here for one day no. um, so we've been here 22 hours now we're back off to the airport right um, I'm flying to Karachi from here in Karachi I'm there for about well I'm in Pakistan for about three or four days but traveling internally within the country as well and then back to London after that, then on, onwards from there to New York and, and to Washington DC. So it's a busy, busy seven days ahead. I think this was a small glimpse into one day. That's how it goes, man. 